Hello and welcome to this lesson which is all about the bread of life. Learn the keywords, listen to the audio while you read the article, answer the questions and then practice with other students and a language tutor. Keywords. Pioneer. To be one of the first people to do something. He pioneered the design of the internet. Personify. To treat something as if it were in the form of a human being. In Greek myth, Love is personified by the goddess Aphrodite. Equate. To consider one thing to be the same as or equal to another thing. He equated right-wing politics with racism. Epitomize. To be a perfect example of a quality or type of thing. Fast food has come to epitomize American cuisine. Appease. To prevent further disagreement or fighting by letting the opposing side have something that they want. They were given a small pay rise, but this was not enough to appease them. Listen and read to find the answers. Why did people settle in Mesopotamia? What did the Egyptians pioneer? What did the Greeks invent? Why did the Puritans leave England for America? Mesopotamia and Egypt the foundations of civilization were laid when people settled in Mesopotamia to await the wheat harvest. Wheat grains were crushed and mixed with water to make a dough that was toasted on a hot stone while Nisaba, the goddess of grain and writing, was worshipped. Eventually, this flatbread made its way to ancient Egypt, where the annual flooding of the Nile favoured the growth of wheat. The Egyptians invented irrigation systems, canals and dams. They also left the dough to rise in the sun and pioneered the process of yeast fermentation. During Egyptian festivals, priests baked divine bread in the shape of Osiris, the god of agriculture, life and more. Greece and Rome Bread arrived in Greece and was personified by Demeter, the goddess of agriculture and grain, among other things. Driven by the desire for more bread, the Greeks revolutionized baking with the invention of the first bread oven. The Romans adopted bread as the staple food of their expanding empire, equating Ceres with the Greek goddess Demeter. Instead of relying on military might alone, they pioneered state bakeries and set up a state-sponsored grain dole, providing bread for hundreds of thousands of citizens. This welfare initiative used the power of bread to inspire loyalty. The phrase bread and circuses epitomizes Rome's strategy of appeasing the masses with food and entertainment. England and America for thousands of years, bread has been eaten at Passover to commemorate the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. On one Passover, Jesus shared bread with his disciples and instructed them to do the same in remembrance of him. The belief that the bread becomes the actual body of Jesus Christ in this act of remembrance was rejected by the Puritans. They didn't believe that a priest could change a piece of bread into God. They were known for their strict rejection of what they considered to be superstitious practices, such as the belief in the healing powers of hot cross buns. They began leaving England for North America in the early 17th century, partly because they were persecuted for their beliefs about bread. Discussion Questions do you have any questions about any of the vocabulary or grammar in this article? What's your favourite type of bread? Do you have special types of bread in your country? How has food changed your country? That's all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. See you next time.